Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor. Fuck. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today we're going to be talking about a product that's been on the market for we have absolutely no idea how long. However, it's been on the market long enough for us to not only, uh, you know, kind of get familiar and acquainted with it, but also, uh, you know, kind of see and hear a lot of other folks' feedback on it and everything. Uh, not that we usually are tending to uh, look for that, but it just really had become one of those products that a lot of people were kind of gabbing about and having the word of mouth and talking about and everything. And of course, without further ado, we're talking about the one and only screen. Screwball uh, Peanut Butter Whiskey. So, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey, what can be said about this one? Well, uh, man, you know, we've been all about our flavored whiskeys over the last course of about a year, two years, and, uh, you know, we've thoroughly enjoyed almost every aspect of it that we've had that, you know, is just alternative different flavors. Even down to stuff like the Howlerhead Banana, uh, and, you know, Peach and Apple and you know, whatever the hell, what other flavors we got there, uh, uh, vanilla, that other one up there, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, we've talked about them, who cares, uh, but man, when it comes down to this screwball one, right, this peanut butter whiskey here, you see that, uh, you know, we put a good little dent on it and such, man, but it has gotten to the point where no shit, man, like, and uh, I don't think that's going to be finished at all. There's a good chance that'll probably be dumped out. Now, uh, you know, why Why would we do that? Well, man, uh, you know, with most of our, for our personal taste, uh, whiskeys, man, we really enjoy them straight. We don't put them on the rocks. We don't like to put them on the rocks, genuinely speaking. Uh, but, you know, on occasion, you might have to kind of dabble it with that. And with this Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey, man, uh, we cannot drink this straight. The only way that we can drink this to really kind of uh, even bring out the peanut butter flavor and taste to us uh, is to actually put it on the rocks, man, and put it over ice. And when we do that, uh, we enjoy it substantially more than just straight, which is how we actually kind of just prefer to, like we said, uh, drink it. So it might come down to a preference thing, man, uh, is, uh, you know, for a... Uh, kind of novelty-like product, man, and we don't even want to say it's a novelty product, because I'm sure some people, and we've, you know, talked to a couple folks, uh, you know, that have been fairly into this stuff, uh, you know, the novelty of it, though, is like a one-time trial for us, and like we said, I don't even think we we're going to get through the whole thing, just because if we have the choice, man, of this and almost anything else, we're going to go with the anything else. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to really say that the product isn't worth a trial because there is a niche market for who is going to enjoy it. Um, and, it, you know, definitely worth a try for, you know, hell, peanut butter whiskey, you know, what a cool concept and everything. It sounds like it'd be, uh, you know, right up our alley with different flavors and such. But, uh, man, this one don't really hit home for us and whatnot. And that's not a slam on the company, not a slam on anyone who enjoys the product, uh, you know, uh, to each his own, but for us and, you know, anyone that, you know, kind of follows along our lines, hey, ma, uh, you know, yeah, this one ain't gonna, ain't gonna really do the trick. Worth a little try, man, maybe pick up a shot or something at a bar, and if you really like it, you know, get you a bottle to bring home, but otherwise, uh, you know, yeah, this one ain't for us, uh, you know, like we said, not intentionally a slam on the company or anything like that, uh, you know, I'm sure they work hard and they do well and they crafted a, uh, you know, decent little product for, for those that dig it and everything, but... Yeah, this one, this one ain't gonna be for us, uh, and such, which, who cares? No one cares. Except you. Thanks, Mom. Anyhow, screwball, peanut butter whiskey, what can be said about this one? Uh, you get a, uh, you know, you get, a wavy lines, eh, cause, eh, it ain't for us, but it's for other people, definitely. We're not gonna write it off and say that there's no, uh, you know, following of folks that are going to enjoy this and that do enjoy this product and whatnot. But for us, we won't get another bottle and we won't finish that one. I know we won't because we won't. That's how it goes. Have a good one, you probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.